I'm gonna go ahead right now and I'm gonna tell you guys the final price of what it costs in my tallying of building my dream barn. Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new, welcome. So today I'm going to be filming a video that is very highly requested from the moment that we began this building all the way to the very end. One of the top questions when it comes to my Q and A's. I get infiltrated with these questions in my DMs, on all the comments and even on my TikTok. So I'm gonna go ahead in this video and answer the burning question of how much it costs to build my dream barn. So I'm only doing this video for one reason and it's for educational purposes because I know many of you guys are in the process of building your own barn or looking to build your own barn and wanna know kinda of where pricing ranges. And I will say, I do wish there was a video out there like this for me right before I started building my barn. So I just wanna put that disclaimer out there. It's only for educational purposes if you guys are curious, you're about to find out. Now, also I will say, Mike and I did all the labor in this barn, so take that into account. And also, I don't know if a lot of these prices are gonna be relative to where you live, depending on your building costs, material costs, and things like that. So this is only pertaining to what my situation is with real numbers. So some things are just gonna be rounded, so I don't give you guys sense and stuff like that. But everything is gonna be as accurate as I can remember it to be. I pulled so many receipts for this to try to get this exactly where you guys were completely informed. So if I forget something, I'm sorry. Let me know in the comments down below if I do forget anything and you guys have any questions about that. But today, I'm going to be finally answering that question of how much this barn costs. So if you guys are excited for today's video and are excited to find out how much my dream barn costs, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos and of course have a chance for my post notification shout out. All right you guys, let's just get right into talking how much this barn costs. Before we get into the nitty gritty of this, I do want you guys to understand this is probably gonna be a pretty big number because it is a barn. So we're thinking a huge giant structure. So just realize that that's gonna be relative to what this big barn is. And lastly, I want to also, for reference purposes, this barn that I wanted created but in wood, fully enclosed barn like I wanted without any stalls and just the structure, I was quoted at $35,000 for someone else to build it, just the structure and not the metal building. This is when I was weighing out many options. So this was a wooden structure that I was quoted for fully enclosed, no stalls, no tack room, no nothing, no floor, no concrete, nothing like that, $35,000. So you guys have reference of everything where we're at. I'm gonna start now with all the prices. So first we need to start with the very beginning foundation of this barn. So some of you may not even have to do this, but we had to raise our foundation up two feet. So we had to haul in a bunch of dirt, about 10 loads to be exact. And then we had to have a company come in and they had to build it up, level it and get it completely ready for the building. So this first cost us $2,700, so this included all of the 10, 11 loads of dirt, and it also included their labor to fully make the foundation. So $2,700, this is all USD, so that was our first number one step. Then came the barn. So that is going to be a huge chunk of this price, and by barn I mean the structure. So when we think of the big number at the very end, just understand where the bulk of it came from, and it was the actual structure. So our structure is a 36 by 48 foot barn, putting us at a little over 1,700 square feet of a barn. And this metal building structure is also rated for hurricanes, so this may differ for where you are, because in Florida with a permit, we have to have a hurricane proof. So the structure costs us $21,500. So like I said, that's going to be a bulk of this price was a structure. We had no part in building the structure. We had no part in getting the materials. This all came from a company. They sent a crew down, they built it, and this is what we got. We've got this big metal building. Now all everything else on the inside, except the concrete, Mike and I have done ourselves. So then moving on to the third cost that we had to pay somebody to have their supplies and their labor, and that was the concrete. The concrete that we got is down the alleyway and in front of the barn just a little bit. It was a little bit over a thousand square feet. So that put us out about $3,670 for the concrete. So that's the alleyway in the front. So just keep that in mind because I will have another concrete cost closer to the end. So now that we've got all of the pricing out that somebody else did for us, now we're gonna go ahead and talk about basically it's gonna be material cost because we have no more labor included because Mike and I did all the labor on everything else. So this is pretty much just building costs. So starting with the metal channels that I absolutely loved, 
and you don't necessarily need these just depending on the barn I thought this was crucial in my barn so I believe it was about a little bit over 80 U channels that we purchased so I purchased these in two orders the first order was from a company online and I ended up having to pay a pretty hefty freight charge and then the second one I found a local metal fabricator near me so I didn't have to pay the freight on that but anyways, for a little over 80 metal U channels, I ended up paying about $1,003 for all the channels in the barn. Then came time to actually build the stalls. So in general, I'm not gonna be able to go like stall by stall and explain how much just one costs. So all I do know though, as far as how much wood, so think about every bit of wood in this barn with also the extra that we have in our storage area, which is gonna be our future wash rack. So we do have a lot of overage. We did about four or five runs of wood. All in all, for all the wood in here with the extras, it put us at about $2,300 of wood entirely. It's Southern Yellow Pine. It's already treated and it's never really gonna reach moisture because it's in the enclosed building. So $2,300 for all the wood in our barn, including the extra. So then next, we're gonna just kind of stay in the stall a little bit so that we can go piecewise with this. So then we can talk stall flooring. So on the base of my stall flooring was originally, as you guys saw, dirt. And then for the stall flooring mattress system that we did, we needed to bring in a pea gravel. So we got 18 yards of pea gravel. We still have so much left over, but I'm still gonna include that in this price because to get the barn that I have, this is what we had to purchase for this. So 18 yards of pea gravel was $300. So that's at the base of our stall. We still have a bunch of extra. And as you guys saw, that helped for the front of our barn that made like a little driveway for the front of our barn. And then we still have a bunch of extra that we are still gonna use for a driveway. So that's the base of the stall. And then also, while we're there too, I'm gonna talk about the concrete. So we did concrete the bottom bases of our stalls and then also we have enough concrete for our wash rack, which isn't done yet though, but I still wanna include this. And then also the little four by 12 little storage area that we have um, next to our tack room that Mike and I installed. So it ended up being about 53 80 pound bags of concrete, putting us around $210. And I do wanna mention a lot of this material came from Home Depot and I had coupons and things like that. So I was a very savvy shopper with a lot of these things, whether they were at lower price, bulk pricing. I tried to always get over into the bulk pricing because Home Depot has bulk pricing for a lot of their building materials. So then the actual mattress system, so they came from Ram Horse Stalls and Fencing, and for our size stalls, we had to get the 12 by 12 system, because obviously we have 12 by 12 stalls. We got five of them. Each of those mattresses is $793 of 12 by 12s, but if you guys have different size stalls, they'll be different, and then there's also a freight charge on that. So then that's pretty much everything inside the stall, except our partitions. So those are the walls, the faux metal bars. They're not metal because the metal would have been extremely expensive. I'm actually loving the CPVC that we use. We ended up purchasing over 500 feet of the CPVC and then we cut it and painted it black. So for all of our bars in all of the stalls, it ended up costing us $250 because CPVC is extremely affordable. So then almost moving outside of the stalls, we have our latches and we have our hinges. So for all the hinges and latches that we have in the barn, so we ended up needing nine packs of hinges and six latches so for all hinges and latches we were about two hundred and twenty dollars there is five fans that we purchased these were super affordable so for all five fans we ended up at two hundred and forty dollars now that basically covers like a full stall system setup besides the plumbing and electric because we need something to run those fans and then we also wanted the plumbing to go directly into each of our stalls. So the electric, we obviously had to buy a ton of wires and a ton of different wires and then the breaker box and things like this. So we're gonna sum it up and the electric cost is about $600 and obviously all material costs. And then for the plumbing in the barn, it's just material costs, the CPVC, and then any valves or anything like that. And that put us at $150 and you guys, one of the best $150 I've ever spent. It's made filling up water buckets so easy, so I definitely recommend if you're able to do that, do that. Just side note, because it has made giving water horses so easy. So then, moving out of the stalls, we're gonna go back into our alleyway area. So as you guys know, our building came with our two big overhead doors, but then we also put in a gate in front and back. So each of those gates cost us $89, $89 for the front one, $89 for the back one. So we have those, and then in our alleyway, we have our mats. So our mats, we have a total of 13 mats. So I will say these mats cost $44.99 at Tractor Supply. They are super expensive in my opinion. I think mats can be outrageously priced. They're just rubber mats. But 
a long time ago before we even built the barn. I found them online, they were used, and I ended up buying them at $20 a piece, which was a big savings for this. So as far as mats goes, I do suggest making sure you look online. There's tons of people that are always trying to sell them, but the mats ended up costing us a total of $260. So that's almost everything basically inside of the barn and usable for horses. I do wanna add one more cost because it's a major cost and it was screws and bolts. So we put us around about $150 in screws and bolts for the barn. So that's pretty much everything outside in this barn. So then now we're gonna move into the tack room a little bit because this one is not a necessity, but it is what we have in our barn. So if you guys are looking to build a tack room, this is what ours costs. So the actual tack room was included in that structure price of the 21,000. The building company put it in for us. That's one thing that we added on because I just wanted to have the structure there already. So we're gonna just go into more of the details of drywall and all those things to make the tack room that we have today. So total for the drywall in there was $232. We had to put some framing inside of it with wood, but again, that was already covered in the wood cost because I give you guys the wood cost for every bit of wood in this barn. And then we have about $100 in spackle to obviously clean up all the drywall and then get it ready for texturing spray. We have about $100 in texturing spray. And then we have about $100 in paint from the walls and then we also painted the flooring. And then the feed bin that I have in there that you guys saw me make, that was only $50. That was aside from the original wood cost that I told you guys about. But I did have all that wood laying around from previous projects, but I know you guys have asked me about that before. So if you guys did wanna build one yourself, it will cost you around $50. That's just what I tallied up in the amount of wood that we had used. Then I purchased two cabinets and they were from Amazon. They're each $136. So our cabinets combined were $326. And those are essential for me to be able to hold grooming stuff first aid things and stuff like that. So then getting more into the tack holders and stuff and you can go any route that you want but this is just what I purchased for our tack room to hold our tack. So I just looked at my previous transactions that I had purchased from. So in one transaction it was two girth racks, two saddle racks and then my whip holder and that came in at $114. And then another transaction of four saddle racks and that was $152. And then one last thing that I forgot to mention. So everything that's lighting this video right here. So all the lighting ended up costing us $106. These lights are also from Amazon, super affordable. We literally got like seven lights or something like that, $106 and they work fabulously, they're LED. So yeah, I really like these lights, you guys. I'll have those in the link down below and also the cabinets because you guys always ask me about the cabinets. Hey guys, so that's pretty much everything that I have in this barn other than like the AC unit that we can hear right now. And that was actually free, it was a gift to us, so I didn't purchase that, but I believe that AC units maybe run around $200. I'm not really sure, but that's pretty much everything that's been essential for our barn to make it my dream barn, you guys. So. The total number, I'm sure you guys could go through and calculate everything and maybe even if I did my math wrong, but I'm gonna go ahead right now and I'm gonna tell you guys the final price of what it costs in my tallying of building my dream barn. So again, I want you guys to reference that first number that I told you guys at 35,000, that estimate that I got for just the enclosed structure, not this structure, but an enclosed structure without any stalls or tack room or anything like that in labor for the barn to be built. And now let's reflect and see that I have a fully enclosed, hurricane-proof building with overhead doors, complete stalls, five complete stalls at that, a completed tack room that's air-conditioned, everything exactly how I want it. So I just wanna put those in reference to each other, you guys. So the final number that we came up with for our dream barn was about $38,000 to have this barn. And I will say, you guys, I know that sounds like a really big number, but for a barn, that is a really, really good number to have everything that we have. So obviously, a lot of this number is just pure raw material cost that I just couldn't get out of technically to build it as to what it is because like I said, Mike and I did most of the labor with the help of friends besides like three things, which was the concrete, the actual structure, and the foundation. So other than that, it's been by our own hands. So that definitely cut down the cost a lot and I can't really make up material prices so that's pretty much where we're at with the barn. I believe this barn would drastically have cost a lot more if Mike and I did not do this ourselves. That's what it is. That's the number. That's how much it costs to build my dream barn. I know you guys have been asking me this. I've not been ignoring you. I've not been avoiding the question, I promise. I see your guys' questions and I just needed to make a full video so I could explain it 
And if I did forget anything, which I very well could have, this is a lot of parts to this barn, make sure you guys put it in the comments down below. Ask me any questions. If you need any links or anything like that of where I purchased anything, if you guys need any advice, my DMs are always open and are free to ask me any questions. I love talking to you guys about the barn. I do get questions all the time asking me where I got certain things, how I would do certain things or whatever. And again, I do just want to reiterate that this video was for educational purposes only. So if you guys are building a barn, I wish you lots of luck or in the near future looking to build a barn. It's been a fun journey and I feel like this almost kind of wraps up the whole barn series of everything about it except my tacking tour which is coming very soon you guys because we got our last final things in. Or you know what you guys, I want to know actually what you guys thought the price of this barn was going to be. I would be super intrigued to see in the comments down below what you guys thought the amount of this barn was going to cost because it's just really interesting to see what you guys would think from a camera. So again, let me know in the comments down below how much you guys thought our barn was going to be, if you guys were close or not to our price, or right dead on. So go ahead guys, put that in the comments, and if you guys like today's video, make sure you go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, I have a chance to make a post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to, are you guys, I love you, and I'll see you in the next one.